Yo, 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 what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a dark ethnic guitar and flute sample for Pyrex. Like usual, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just break down exactly what I did for a sample that I made recently. I'll show exactly what I did from the midis to the effects, the VSTs. So yeah, this um, specific sample is from a sample pack that I just recently dropped with 20 samples in the same style. Um, all the stems and midis for each of the instruments is included. So I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description for that but um yeah let's get right into the all right so i got my sample pulled up here um we're sitting at 118 bpm um for pyrex samples you want to be in a lower bpm like this so we're at 118 bpm i think the final sample is e minor so i have that right here i'll go ahead and play how it sounds so you can hear it So as you can hear, it's very dark. Um, it's got the very repetitive guitar and flute um, with some dark ambience. So I'll go ahead and show exactly what I did. But um, it's broken down into two parts with the normal flute and then the halftime flute. And then I just sequenced out all the stems. So when somebody goes to use it, they can just arrange it however they want. So I'll go ahead and show exactly what I did for the guitar. For the guitar, I pulled up this contact bank. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but there it is. And um, I pulled up the NG, which stands for nylon guitar. And then I switched it to the Spanish mode. There's a bunch of different modes, but I thought this one sounded kind of unique. And um, this is a really good plugin for um, acoustic guitars. You gotta kind of add some effects. I'll go into what I did to the guitar, but um, it's a pretty good contact bank just for acoustic guitars in general. Um, so I came up with this pattern for the guitar. Very simple, very repetitive, um, definitely not complex. I wanted to make it sort of similar to um, what somebody would play on a real guitar and um, I think that's what some people get wrong when they're trying to make guitar samples or melodies is that they try to go too complex you have to remember that there are only a certain amount of strings on a guitar and you can only play with one hand on the on the string so it's not gonna be something so complex where you're gonna have to have like three hands to play it that's why a lot of people's guitar melodies end up sounding super not human like they're super like robotic and you can just tell that it's um, a VST. I mean, regardless, you'll probably be able to tell it's a VST, but that's just something you could do to make it sound a little bit more realistic. So another thing that you can do is mess around with the velocities. As you can see, mine are kind of going up and down throughout the whole thing. And we're sitting in C sharp minor. Um, for the final sample, I pitched it down a lot. So but I'll go ahead and play how it sounds with no effects or anything. This is just the pattern that I came up with. Yeah, very basic, very repetitive. Um, it just kind of repeats the same thing over and over with a different um, root note. Um, that's pretty much it for the MIDI. Um, and then obviously it sounds very dry. So for the effects, um, I use this plugin, Finisher Micro, and I added some chorus to it. And then I pulled up uh, Valhalla Vintage Verb and added a little bit of reverb. And then I added um, a compressor through this plugin as well. And then I also added some delay to it. And then I EQ'd out um, a lot of the lows and some of the highs. So I'll go ahead and play how that sounds with all the effects. That's pretty much it for the guitar. Um, just some minor effects, um, EQing, delay, compression, reverb, and chorus. If you don't have this plugin, which I've mentioned it in like my past five videos, but um, I, <laughs> I think it's free, I still don't know. Um, but if you don't have this plugin, you can obviously just use the stock FL Studio plugins for chorus. There's Fruity Chorus, and then for delay, there's Fruity Delay. Um, for reverb, there's Fruity Reverb, but I highly recommend uh, Vintage Verb. And then for compressor, there's a Fruity Compressor. So you don't need this um, plugin, but definitely a good plugin. Add some ambience and make it um, a little bit darker. But I pulled up this contact bank called Atom. I've also mentioned this contact bank in some of my other um, previous tutorials. It's really good for like bells, pads, vocals, ambient kind of sounds. So I pulled up this key or pedo 2 from Atom and I laid down this pattern. Um, I'll go ahead and play out sounds with no effects on it. Yeah. 
but yeah very ambient a lot of reverb and it's just some basic chords kind of strummed out with some notes in between to kind of fill out the spaces and just add some more balance and ambience um, and then i added some effects i half timed it just the normal half time and then i added um gross beat with the one beat gate reset put it to 50 percent, and then i just eq'd out a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs and um this is what it sounds like with those effects So I just kind of wanted that sound in the background behind the guitar to make it a little bit more ambient and dark. So I'll go ahead and play how it sounds with that. And then it just repeats from there. Alright, so the next thing that I did is I added the flute to the sample um, and I actually ended up adding two different flutes they're both one shots from the same pack um, the first one is this one shot right here and I just came up with this crazy unique complex pattern two notes here and just with no effects it sounds like this and then just repeats um, but I added some RC20 a lot of reverb and um, an EQ and I wanted this flute to just kind of be an accent flute and kind of sit in the background so this is what it sounds like and then for the other flute I used a one shot as well from the same pack and I came up with this pattern I'll go ahead and play how it sounds with no effects on it As you can see, there's certain parts that are um, layered. It's the same pattern, just an octave lower. And I did that just to kind of add um, depth to it at certain points um, and just kind of fill out the sound. And as you can see, it's a pretty basic pattern. A lot of descending notes like that, um, just to kind of give it a bounce. Obviously messing with the velocities to make it sound more real, just like the guitar. So for the effects, I added um, RC20, reverb, halftime and an eq and for the halftime i just set it up so that it is 100 percent halftime at the second half of the sample and then for the first part of the sample it's just set at 25 percent so there's some more like background ambience with the flute i'll go ahead and play how it sounds with all the effects Yeah, as you can hear, it just kind of adds a lot of bounce and um, there's some more ambience with the flute in the background with the halftime. And so with all the sounds together, the guitar, the ambient bell and the flute, it sounds like this. And the last thing that I added to the sample is this bass, this one shot bass. Um, I just added a very repetitive pattern for the bass. It sounds like this. Yeah, very basic, no effects on the bass. Okay, and then once I had all of the sounds um, sequenced out, I just exported as an audio file, then brought it back in. And then I dropped it down six semitones. So it sounded like this. And I thought that that sounded a lot better, a lot a lot darker. Um, so we were in C sharp, six semitones down from C sharp, we're at G, we're in G minor. And so for the bass, I knew that I had to drop this down. And then that's pretty much it for the sample. Um, for the master, I just added um, some gain to make it a little bit louder. Um, focus on not being too complex with your patterns because it just sounds unrealistic. It it ends up sounding like something that a real guitar player couldn't play and it just sounds weird. So don't be too complex with your guitar patterns. Mess with the velocity. He's trying to make it as human as possible. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are all the sounds with the bass. And that's how I go about making a dark guitar flute sample for Pyrex. So hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something. Like I said, I'll leave a link down in the description um, with the pack that this sample is in. It's got 20 samples, um, all the midis, all of the stems are included for each sample. I'll see you in the next video.